What is going on guys? Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be showing you guys how do you should be preparing for Team Diamonds. you probably saying, oh, Deadly, how do you know Team Diamonds will be dropping at this week? It's because EA tweeted out earlier that the new schedule for this week, and I had a feeling Team Diamonds were going to come out either this week or next week, because if you check last year's Team Diamonds release, they dropped at the end of September, so I had a feeling probably like about two, three weeks when I was curious, like, hey, when did Team Diamonds drop? I looked it up. Had a feeling I bought a couple cards, but we're gonna explain exactly what you should be doing right now to make your guys coins. So step number one, you should be logging into Madden 23 right now. So I'm gonna open it up right now, and we're gonna basically explain step by step what you should be doing to prepare for the promo that's probably gonna be dropping this Friday, since we got a Grey Iron Garden that's gonna be dropping Thursday, most likely, and we're gonna get Friday. So what you're gonna be doing right now? Head over to your auction house. You're gonna put core gold cards. And you're going to head over to the auction house and you're going to be searching for your team team. For my team team, I'm going to be looking up the building the Packers. I've always wanted to build, finish the Packers team team, but EA, for some reason, they do not want to drop low Packer cards that are 86, 85. They don't. So, head over to the Packers. You're going to put high gold and you're basically going to pick up a couple cards you want specifically and you're going to buy them out. So, because why? Because usually when Team Diamonds drop, a lot of these gold cards tend to go up for around 20k, 30k. There's a couple cases that they even go for 45k. So, which cards do you want to be picking up? Just pick up pretty much, you're just going to go to Mud.gg, you're going to be a list of all the pack, all the cards, and you just want to buy them out. So, for example, there's a good chance Randall Cobb is going to be in the set. I'm going to make some coins off of him. He's going for 5k, I'm going to add him to my set so I can be able to complete the set cheaper. Because these cards are going to be ridiculously priced. As you guys can see over here, I'm going to be not too bad. I, it's rather to be safe than sorry. So, Sammy Watkins, he's going for roughly 2K. There's, if he's in the set, he's going to probably go for 7, 8K. So, it's not too bad to buy, pick one up, pick a couple of them up, just in case. If he does not go for, if he does not actually sell for that much, I can sell him back on the block for 2K. I basically make my coins back, and I'm not happy. I'm basically... Not too bad. I mean, it's, it's a little bit of a risk. So, what you're going to go, we're going to open up mutt.gg. You're going to head over here to the player section. You're going to do the same thing, but you want to put at the bottom sorting because you want to search for the price, the most expensive card. So, we're going to go to Green Bay Packers for this my case. You're going to head over to sorting. You're going to put the price, and you're going to do the same thing to core gold. So, you also want to get some core elite cards, but that's probably for another topic. Mostly the gold cards are going, or ones that go high skyrocket price. So, Randall Cobb, you did see, I did buy him up for roughly 5k, and you see that's the, we got it for like 5k-ish, so there's a couple of them more on the buck. I'm gonna go down, we got Preston Smith, that I do have on my team, so I don't really need to worry too much about him. I just put him in the set, and I can just buy the gold, the elite card for just for backup purposes. You got Mason Crosby, I have him in my binder, so I don't have to worry too much about him, but he's going for about 5k. It's just, the idea guys, is that all these cards, these high gold cards, you should just keep an eye out on be paying attention, looking at them for the next few days, for probably till Friday. So basically, keep your eye out on them and be buying them. And the quarterly cards is basically the same thing. You want to be just keeping your eye out on them and buying them as cheap as possible. But right now, the gold cards are usually the ones that really kill the sets because you're going to be adding like 30, 40 cards in the set to get yourself your team time, which gives you time for your team time. But that's pretty much the video, guys. I just let you guys know team time is going to be coming out this week, and you guys should be preparing right now. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.